Yo, what is going on guys? Breezy here today brings a brand new video. And today I wanna to tell you guys about The Sims 4. Okay, now, The Sims games are my favorite games ever, okay? My cousin introduced me to The Sims at The Sims uh, 1 and 2, and then I finally got the chance to purchase The Sims 3, and now we're on The Sims 4, of course, okay? Now, The Sims 4 has been out since, what, 2013, I think? And we're in 2020 now, so you can already see how many years that is. And let me tell you guys something that maybe it's just me or maybe it's a whole group of people, but The Sims 4 is kind of boring. I don't want to say that in a sense like, oh my God, don't buy The Sims 4 or The Sims 4 sucks because The Sims 4 is a great game. It adds a lot of like different things. Like I remember when I first saw the trailer and I was like multitasking? My sim can talk and eat at the same time and watch TV? <laughs> Mind blowing, right? I was like, emotions? My sims is gonna feel happy, excited, embarrassed? <laughs> Mind blown, right? Something that the sims three, two, and one didn't have, right? But there's game, or there's gameplay moments from the sims three, two, and one I don't know why I say three, two, one, but bear with me. But there's gameplays from those other previous Sims games that are not in The Sims 4, and I think that was quite stupid. So let me just break it down for you. EA went a more family-friendly route with The Sims 4, okay? I know you're thinking, what does fr family-friendly mean? It just means not as many bad things are gonna happen to your Sims as they did in previous games. So your Sims aren't gonna just get abducted by looking through a telescope no more. I think you have to go through the career, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, my Sim has never gone through, gotten abducted by aliens ever before. So whatever. And the telescope now is like a giant thing. It's not just like a little telescope that you can put on your porch or your balcony or whatever it's literally like this giant thing that you have to sit outside of your house which kind of sucks like give me a kid's telescope i guess give me a normal telescope the one that i used to have as a kid all right give me one of those suckers but another thing burglars they don't exist in the sims 4. the most problems your sims is going to have is little vlad walking up to your door talking about hey that's a lovely neck you got there and trust me that's more annoying than it is fun all right I would much rather have a burglar try to steal my plasma TV over Vlad trying to steal my plasma. I don't really know about you guys, but the vampire Vlad coming to my door is the most annoying thing in the whole wide world because it just slows my Sims down. And they did make an update where it says disable vampires to come to your door. I am using that feature like it's nothing. And there's no longer a repo man. All right, there's no repo man. I wanna, ha I mean, actually, that's a lie. There is a repo man with your student bills, but that's it. I don't think there's a repo man if you don't pay your actual house utility bills. There is no more like consequences as much in The Sims 4 now. Even with going to school and like doing university, your loans are like $5. Like, let's be honest. Like me in real life, pfft, I'm gonna be still paying that when I'm 80 years old. My Sims, they can pay it off before they even finish being a young adult. Ain't that crazy or no? Now let's talk about The Sims as a whole. It is meant for young adult slash adult gameplay. It's not meant for elders. It's not meant for uh, babies, toddlers, teens. It's not, okay? And I know what you're thinking, yo. Like, yes, most people, when they play The Sims 4, they start off with a young adult, and that's just that's just granted, okay? You are going to start off with a young adult no matter what. And obviously, that young adult needs things to do, but what happens when that young adult starts a family? Whenever I start a family in The Sims, we stay in the house every single day. We never leave the house because it's just like, what am I leaving the house for? We, only go, we literally only go to work and school, which sucks. It absolutely sucks. But that's what we do. Like, I used to send my kids to the park. Like, I would go to the gallery, download, like, different kinds of parks, you know, with basketball courts, um, anything, pretty much. You can only send your kids to go play basketball so many times before. Just like, okay, next, next. So, there's only one pack that I don't have. And that's the pack that just came out. I think it was yesterday. Nifty Knitting. 
right? Nifty knitting stuff pack. I do not have it. And you're probably asking yourself, well, are you going to get it? And you're probably thinking, nah, she's not going to get it. Because one, she's not a, a gaming channel anymore. Two, what would be her purpose of even buying it if she was just complaining about how boring The Sims is? But the real thing is, I'm going to be buying it. Well, wait, hold on, hold on, stop, stop. Don't go to the comments. Don't go to the comments. Look, it's a good reason why I'm going to buy it. All right. I'm actually going to try to start live streaming here and there. Okay. The one week where I didn't upload videos is I actually live streamed two days that week. So I'm going to try to incorporate some live streaming. I don't really have a schedule or anything yet. It's just pretty much going to be random and mostly in the evening. But I wanted to bring it up to you guys because you guys might be interested in watching me stream or wanting to come communicate with me live. Like last night, I spent around two to two to three hours actually setting up my stream deck to figure like figuring out my stream deck how to do like cool um not transitions but what is the word i'm looking for like to do like multi actions like i never understood how to do that but like just to get me started like i set up new scenes and new things and yeah like we're gonna be live streaming i'm gonna be trying to get my cousin to play with me some more maybe streaming with jay rosie and i'm gonna be playing the sims we're gonna be doing a racks to riches teen edition starting either today when this video goes up like today as in wednesday or tomorrow thursday but that's just if you guys really want it we're going to be doing a rags to riches series on the sims 4 and we're going to be using plopsy the only reason why i want the nifty knitting stuff pack is because of plopsy that's literally the only reason why so we're going to be trying to sell things on Plop plopsy we're only going to be able to make money from things that we build craft and do things like that so if you're, you're interested in that, go follow my stream, twitch.tv forward slash ninja underscore freebie. And just so you guys know when I'm going to go live, I'm going to post a video on both of my channels saying, hey, I'm live. Come check it out. But honestly, guys, that's going to be it. I didn't want to complain too much about The Sims because I really, really do love The Sims, all right? Sims is one of my favorite games, one of my favorite things to do. I'm just, I guess the real thing is, because it's not family oriented and I'm a family oriented type of person. Like as soon as I'm getting the game, the next day we having a baby. <laughs> Even though babies in The Sims 4 are objects, low key, I have a love hate relationship with babies. I have a love hate relationship with babies in The Sims 4 and that's because I love that I don't have to do that much with them because I hate taking care of babies in the other games. But then it's just like, dang, like is this really like a baby or is this just like a sack of potatoes sitting right here in a crib? But yeah, guys, honestly, I'm going to end off today's video here. I really just wanted to get some things off my chest that EA, you could do better, all right? You guys got me for $800. Put the $800 for something nice. If who, honestly, it's probably $1,000 for all I know. But yeah, guys, this has been Breezy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody.